All right, let's take a look uh, and see what was wrong with this Yamaha B3 amplifier. So if you recall, I had a problem with a crazy alternating DC balance and I don't know if you could see, but right now it's, it's rock solid. Essentially it's under a one millivolt. Um, this was a problem on my right channel. And that's where the problem was located and that's why the unit you know, was going into protection and so additional to uh, resolving that issue I uncover a couple of dead bodies inside the unit and so I'm going to share uh, basically what I found so far so as mentioned uh, we had a problem and I thought that's what that was the reason uh, so I don't know if you could see this this is a um, dual channel and JFET dual N channel JFET it's a uh, 2SK uh, 100, acts as a differential uh, input pair for, uh, um, it's used as a differential input pair in Yamaha B3. And this one in particular is acting out once the unit is um, all um, warm, warmed up. And so it works initially, you could turn the unit on, but then it starts going crazy. After a while, it screws up with the DC balance and it shoots it up so high where the unit goes into protection. Uh, and so I also looked at the protection circuit and I found some other problem there. Some numnut decided to install a something that looks like an old relay, but it's definitely not from a B3 because it doesn't have the correct number of pins and of contacts. Uh, this has two contacts where the original relay has four contacts and so I replaced I put in there a new Omron relay like just as this one and so um, that is solved but that's not what's causing my problems with the DC balance it was the JFET additionally my bias was all screwed up uh, in a sense it wasn't stable and that was actually the most dangerous thing in this unit and um, that was caused by this little guy this is my uh, trim pot for the bias adjustment. It was making that bias jump up and down about 20 millivolts on its own. Um, weird, but as um, soon as I replaced it with a multi pot um, trim pot, now I have a uh, super stable bias. Uh, left channel never had an issue, seeing a left multimeter. Right channel is where I had a problem. That bias could not stay there for more than 10 seconds. Uh, so, Stable bias, I would say nearly perfect DC balance, uh, DC offset. So it's this unit right now, it's rock solid, doesn't come out of protection anymore. I mean, it doesn't go in protection anymore. And so it's essentially fixed. I replaced no other components. So this, is, this will have to go right now through a full rebuild. Um, chassis is a little messed up. I am going to most likely uh, replate this chassis similar to what I've done to B2. Yamaha used uh, black um, zinc on the chassis of the B3, B1, and C1. Yamaha is the only one, Yamaha B2 is the only one that uses yellow zinc. So I'll take that, uh, I'll do that when I do the full restoration, but for now, this little guy is um, rock solid. Pretty impressive for a 40 uh, plus year old amplifier. Um, obviously that, uh, that dual JFET is, um, is problematic. So I most likely will replace, I used an old, old, new old stock, uh, replacement here just for, to make sure that I get a unit going, but I'll probably replace them with something more modern. I'll replace both of them with something more modern when I do the rebuild just for my, uh, peace of mind. So yeah, there you have it. Um, beautiful stable bias. It is still uh, going to decrease to about 50 millivolts once it gets really warmed up. And but yeah, um, there you have it. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with more once the uh, unit is all taken apart. Later.